Welcome back there, everybody. This is our Algebra 2 MRS 22 Spring 2021 Quadratic Quiz Number 2 Review Part 2. Make sure to catch Part 1. Uh, both Part 1 and Part 2 will be types of questions you might see on your quiz. So definitely want to see how it, how it is done and also how the work should be done. So and if you find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button, give it a like, and, uh, so, and definitely leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. So the height h in feet a ball will reach when thrown in the air is a function of time t in seconds given by the equation h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 30t plus 16. Now, any work we do must be formed algebraically. So the first thing we're looking for is to find the nearest tenth, the maximum height in feet the ball will reach. So to find the maximum height in feet, we're going to use our axis of symmetry. So for A, our axis symmetry will be T equals negative B over 2A. And we see in our quadratic, uh, in our quadratic equation, A equals negative 16, B is equal to 30, and C is equal to 6. So we're going to plug into our formula. T equals negative of negative 16 over, oops, that's actually A. Ooh. Sorry, that's how you double check, make sure you have the right answer. Okay, always look over, make sure you have the right answer. <laughs> make sure you're plugging in the right numbers. So plugging in, and then for A is next 16, so now we have two times next 16. So we're gonna get a negative or negative is positive, 30 over 32, which we can probably simplify as 15 over 16. So that happens at 15 over 16 seconds, but we're looking for the near, the maximum height. Now the maximum height can be found when we plug this time into our formula. So h of 15 over 16. And you see I'm not trying to plug decimals in here. I'll leave it as this. And into our formula, negative 16 times 15 over 16 squared plus 30 times 15 over 16 plus 6. And so now we're going to type into a calculator. Now, you're saying, well, this, is that algebraically? Yes. The whole idea is to show where everything comes from. The calculator is not there to find the answer. It's basically there to, to basically find the answer after you plug into a formula here. And so we have here, we're going to do negative 16. And we have 15 divided by 16, close parenthesis, squared, plus 30 times 15 divided by 16, plus 6. Right? And so to nearest tenth, we get 20.0625. All right, we'll go back to here. 20.0625. So h of 15 over 16 equals 20.0625. But since we're looking for the nearest tenth, it will be in this case 20.1 feet. That's the answer for our first question. So it's approximate in this case. Okay? So yeah, axis symmetry, and then we plug in to find our y value, because our y value is going to be the height we're looking for. But it occurs at the vertex. So really the vertex is going to be 15 over 16, comma 20.065. Now for part B. It says here find the nearest tenth of a second the time the ball reaches the ground. So for this part here, what we're going to use is well, we're going to find out when h of t is equal to zero. That's when the height is equal to zero, when it reaches the ground. And so now we're going to solve algebraically by doing 16t squared plus 30t plus 6 equals zero. All right. Now, what we can do to make things a little easier for ourselves is maybe we can divide both sides by negative 2. All right, because it's an equation, so we divide both sides by neck two. And we're probably going to, I'm, I'm going to say in this case, we're probably going to use our quadratic formula. So we get 8t squared minus 15t minus 3 equals 0. Okay? All right. Because I think in this case, uh, two numbers multiply 24 and subtract 15. I don't think we can do that, though. So... We're going to use our quadratic formula, and here we'll find our a, b, and c values for the equation here. Here, after simplifying, a equals 8, b equals negative 15, 
and c equals neg 3. Again, I'll use the smaller numbers, but if you actually use the original numbers of neg 16 for a, 30 for b, and, and 6 for c, that's totally okay. I simplify in this case because later on when, in this case, I get smaller numbers to work with, but it will still get the same thing though, totally the same thing. All right, and so now our quadratic formula, t equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have in this case, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so now we'll plug in the values here, and we had b is neg 15. Our, so I have neg 15 as well here too. Our a value is 8, so 8 goes here and here, and our c value is neg 3. Okay? So we get t equals 15 plus or minus the square root of, well, this is going to be 15 squared, so we have 225. And then I have, um, in this case, minus 4 times 8 is 32. 32 times neg 3 is negative 96. So really, that's going to be the same thing as 225 plus 96. Well, that's going to be the same thing as um, 321, I believe. So plus or minus 321, all over 16. So my times in this case will be t is equal to 15 plus square root of 321 over 16, or t equals 15 minus square root of 321 over 16. Now, because we'll find, try to find the answer to the nearest 10th, we're just going to type in a calculator, right? And so let's go to our calculator again. So we type in 15 plus the square root, so second x squared, of 321. Now at this point, I just enter here, okay? And I believe we're dividing by, uh, in this case, we said 16. Okay, not a problem. So we divide by 16. So I'm going to divide this by 16. And we get 2.057, all right? Which round to nearest tenth is about 2.1, okay? So that'll be our 2.1. So in this case, this approximates to 2.1 seconds. Let me get that point 0.1 in the right place. 2.1 seconds. Now I'll move this work over here a little bit here. Uh, uh, move this here. <laughs> Make a little space in this case. All right, there you go. So we have one time, right? So we have one time here. Now we're going to find the second time by doing 15, 15 minus. So here we go. So we're going to grab this here. And all I'm going to do is just grab this here. And I'm going to then change to minus. Enter. And then divide this by 16. And notice we have negative 0.18. And so I can't really have a time. I mean, the time really is going to be round to the nearest tenth is negative 0.2. So this becomes approximately negative 0 0.2 seconds. But since we only, we can't go back in time, we're using positive values in this case, we want this time here. So for part B, we say in this case about 2.1 seconds. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the answer for part B. So the, the eye of the bowl will land at about, about 2.1 seconds, okay? All right, and and of course, the highest the highest height will reach is about 20.1 feet. All right, right? and you got to show your work, y'all. So the key thing is to show your work, and we'll probably show your work using quadratic formula to be able to find this. Because usually when we talk about when the ball reaches the ground, objects reaches the ground, it usually means... That when it, when it lands, okay, when does it land and height zero, okay? All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for um, taking the time to kind of get educate yourself on, on how to approach these problems, which are very uh, popular problems when it comes to quadratics. 
and uh, I hope you guys have found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And of course, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video we do. Take care.